art's definitely a part of me, yeah, so I couldn't ever not do it. Um, I guess it's just expressing yourself in, in ways rather than kind of keeping it within. It's like good to let it all out and good to use your hands to do that. I love the fact I'm able to lose myself in, in the moment and the process. Uh, my name's Olivia Ferrier, I'm a sculptor and I live in Brighton. I love all its diversity and the freedom to just be whoever you are here, um, anything goes really. I thought I'd always be creative if, if I had a job teaching or doing something else, I'd always do something creative alongside it. And I've always made stuff, always just kind of fiddling, pulling stuff together, tying twigs together, making kind of little installations. I'm very lucky that I'm able to just have it as a day job and make stuff all day really and people luckily buy it. Oh, I'll sculpt generally, usually birds and figures, animals, um, anything, a found object that I find, I'll think about how it relates to me and it might turn into another object. So after I've made the original sculpture in wax, I'll make a mould of that out of a silicone coating and a plaster jacket. I've got the mould in two halves, heat the wax up on the stove till it's liquid hot. Then I'll paint it into the two halves of the mould till it's about five mil thick. And then put them put the two halves together and pour in some more hot wax to seal the edges and then let it cool down until it's ready to be opened and it's hard and worked on as a hollow sculpture. finished wax sculpture I'll add some more um, found objects and then uh, post it off to the foundry and then they do their magic and cast it into bronze. But uh, when it's finished I'll generally feel um, happy and relieved and once it's got the patination on it it kind of comes to life and it's it's got its own, its own uh, personality really then, when it's got the colour. When I finished a piece, I quite often like it. <laughs> um, but then when it's gone to the foundry and got cast, I kind of changed my mind a bit. I am critical of my, most of my pieces. I always kind of look at it at the end and we want to do a bit of an adapt, a bit of adapting to it. I don't like to plan it. Um, I kind of trust that it'll all pan out okay and I follow the process really and, and, and sort of let it unfold. So yeah, I'm excited about what might be in the future.